Have you ever watched someone die? I have. When I'm not a student here at BYU, I work as a nationally certified paramedic. And two weeks ago, I went on a call to a boy who had crashed on his bike. He was not wearing his helmet, and he got launched headfirst into a boulder. When we got on scene, he was hardly breathing. He was bleeding out of his eyes, his ears, his nose, and his mouth. My partner landed life flight on the road while I took care of the patient. Not even an hour later, I had found out that he had died. This boy was only 17 years old. And I couldn't help but wonder, did he make a difference with his life before it ended? People may say, I'm only one person. I can't change the world. But that's where you're wrong. All of you can change the world. We all have the power of one. Helen Keller said, I am only one. But still, I am one. I cannot do everything, but still, I can do something. And because I cannot do everything, I will not refuse to do the something that I can do. One person can make a lot of difference, and any of us can be the one who does. For example, take a person who has literally changed the world with an invention. Now, this inventor admits that he was led to a life of inventing by a certain book that he read. Well, now, who do we owe the debt of gratitude for enriching our lives so significantly with this invention? The inventor or the author of the book, who the inventor freely admits led him to a life of inventing in the first place. Pause and rewind. Do we thank the teacher who encouraged the child to become an author? Because certainly without the teacher, the book never would have been written. Or pause and rewind a little more. Do we thank the old woman who set up a scholarship fund so that a young person could go to college and become the teacher who then encouraged the child to become an author whose book inspired the inventor whose invention changed the world? Maybe we owe our appreciation to the man who drove the wagon. Okay, I see your blank stares. The man who drove the wagon, you ask? You know, the man who drove the wagon that carried the lumber that was used to build the doctor's office. Nobody ever knew. But the doctor's office was where the woman's life was saved, who several years later bore the child who grew up to create the scholarship fund in the first place. Yes, we need to thank the man in the wagon because he is the one who changed the world. People may say, changing the world is too big of a task. I'm only one person. I can't do anything. But that is where you're wrong. Even simple acts of kindness can spiral into something big. Mark Twain reminded us of the power of kindness when he said, kindness is the language which the blind can see and the deaf can hear. Simple acts of kindness are never wasted, no matter how small they are. Even smiling at someone is an act of kindness. And I know that all of you can smile. Listen to how simple this power can be. She smiled at a sorrowful stranger. The smile seemed to make him feel better. He remembered past kindnesses of a friend and wrote him a thank you letter. Well, the friend was so pleased with the thank you that he left a large tip after lunch. The waitress, surprised by the size of the tip, bet the whole thing on a hunch. The next day, she picked up her winnings and gave part to a man on the street. The man was so grateful. For two days, he'd had nothing to eat. On his way home, he picked up a shivering puppy and took him home to get warm. The puppy was very grateful to be out of the storm. That night, the house caught on fire. The puppy barked the alarm. He barked till he woke the whole household and saved everybody from harm. One of the boys that he rescued grew up to be president. All of this because of a simple smile that hadn't cost a cent. There are no private decisions. Your decisions may have an impact on every person living on this earth and every person yet to come. You all 
have the power to change the world. You have the power of one.